Ladies and gentlemen, NEO stands strong amidst market changes. The steadfast backing from SIV, $0.10 holdings, BlackRock, and Vanguard, evident through maintained or increased holdings, underscores NEO's promising outlook amid uncertainties. I'm also going to break down what the big money investors have been doing with NEO. Why on earth most of them are continuing to buy more NEO shares and what on earth the latest 13 filing reports are telling us about what big money, big investors, the massive trillion dollar companies are doing to NEO. But before I break anything down with all this information, before I talk about what on earth is happening to NEO stock, NEO, it was down 7% for the day on Friday. Not necessarily their fault, because Evergrande has fallen filing for bankruptcy in the New York courts, and that is not good news for them. NEO couldn't control the situation, given that we're witnessing a growing number of difficulties emerging in China. Now, despite that happening, I just want to remind you all that going back for the last few weeks, like I told you guys yesterday, NEO was bullish. You guys remember a few weeks ago near the end of July, NEO was pumping and pumping and pumping, continuing to hold up with the all-time high deliveries record NEO managed to go all the way up to 16 from $10 just a few weeks prior. So NEO is looking very strong at least back then it was. And then as of recent it started selling off. That's because the whole market started selling off. If you consider SPY, for example. SPY compared to NEO, what has SPY been doing for the last few weeks? Since August, it's been selling off. The whole market is following this trend. If you consider Apple, Apple came down pretty hard for the last couple of weeks. This is also what's dragging the market down, acting as an anchor. We know Tesla has relatively strong fundamentals, even though their guidance is not the best. It's been just straight up selling off for the last couple of weeks. But the real question is, what about NEO? How is NEO looking? Well, it's following the trend. NEO was a stock with a positive beta, and if anything, it's not actually selling off as hard as other companies out there. It's just that on Friday, it started selling off a little bit harder because of this bad news that came out. If it wasn't for that, it wouldn't be that horrible compared to others out there. Other stocks have been dropping since the very end of July going into August. The very start of August. News started dropping around like the 7 August is where it really started dropping. It was actually trading in a range for the first week before it started slowing down more. As time went on, more concerns involving China played a big role too. But here's the thing about NEO. The real question that comes to mind is why on earth is it that when fundamentals were this strong? Why on is it that people are losing their minds over the way the share price is moving? That is something that goes on with it. There are people that are saying that NEO is just a horrible company and this and that. But the question is if it really is such a bad company, then how come the majority of firms are buying more NEO shares now? Are all of them doing that? Not necessarily. But most of them are doing that. That's why I intend to closely review this specific data and talk about the top investors that are betting on NEO stock. So what happened was the latest 13 F5 reports came out for the second quarter. And as of the second quarter, the end of it, we actually have some new data and it's looking very good for them based off the reports. And also it's not just about the second quarter. We can actually witness some more recent things that have been released. This is all going to be important anyways. Okay, when it comes to the way Neil was moving as of right now, the data suggests that a lot of these massive firms are not necessarily selling NEO shares. Some of them have sold part of their positions, but most of them are still holding or buying even more. I'm going to break down exactly who they are and why this is important. So one to remember is that despite how much NEO was dropping, despite how much it was dropping, the fundamentals of NEO are still quite strong. There's a very, very good chance that NEO could continue to pump. Now why do I say it could pump more? That's because the fundamentals are improving. Once the situation in China improves, once NEO starts to give us stronger deliveries, which they are most likely going to do for the second half of this year, it has so much potential to pump in my opinion. Considering the major firms in existence, first off, we have Civin Investments. They basically have 125 million NEO shares. They actually are owned by Abu Dhabi which is some very bullish news. 
and they actually bought NEO in July of 2023, right before the thing started taking off. So that was great, but are they going to sell this? I haven't observed them taking that action. I think they're in for the long term and they know NEO is going to continue to pump. Now that is bullish, I'm not just saying this for the short term. The longer term for many months out, many years out, that's extremely bullish. They're not going to buy into a trash company, guys. It's just common sense. Then secondly, we have $0.10 holdings, okay. They own another 124 million shares, but they did actually decrease their NEO position by about 40 million according to the report. They may have done this due to other hardships in China wanting to reposition and other things like that. But even if you do criticize them for doing this, there's a chance that they could have tried to sell it to other investors wanting to get more diversity and things out of the way, basically. But remember, you could criticize them for selling 40 million shares or you could be happy because they're holding 124 million shares still. They're still holding it. They haven't really sold every everything off. They're still invested in NEO now. Also saw Bailey Gifford and Co. They have about 120 million NEO shares. They sold off about 600,000, but nothing too crazy. That is nothing compared to holding almost 120 million. It looks like they're gonna continue to hold them. The investment management firm is just going to continue to hold them. That is still bullish in a way, because for the long term, they'd want to hold on to 120 million shares. They're not just like getting rid of all of them. And companies sell off a small part of their positions all the time. You always hear about Kathy Woods selling Tesla and buying back in they do this to reposition, exploring additional possibilities, consider observing various sectors experiencing movement within the markets. There are all sorts of reasons. This has nothing to do with them dumping NEO because they dislike it, because they're holding 120 million and they sold off only 600,000. Now, here are the two big ones that are very important. BlackRock is huge, one of the largest companies on the planet. They have 67 million shares of NEO, almost that much. And they just bought another 5 million shares. I'm gonna round this up, about 5 million, they added another 5 million shares of NEO, investing 10 of millions into NEO once again very, very recently. That is once again more bullish news. Why are they buying so much NEO? If NEO is a trash company, it's going to go back to like $7, $6, and $5 for good. Why are they still buying NEO as it dips? Is it possible that their motivation is to anticipate the future of this company? They perceive strong fundamentals and have ample compelling reasons to do so. Why are they holding 67 million shares and they're not going to give them up? They perceive promise within this company. They know this stock has so much potential. They're still very bullish in my opinion. And last but not least, we have Vanguard, the other giant, the giant mutual fund out there. They have 48 million NEO shares in total, and they recently bought another 389,000 shares once again investing millions into NEO again. So my question if they're buying all these shares, if BlackRock and Vanguard of all things are just buying and buying and holding and buying and holding, that makes me or at least that's one indication that other big firms are invested into NEO. They like it, yes. One of the biggest ones that sold was $0.10. They actually sold about 40 million, but they're still holding at the same time 124 million shares, right? So the majority of them, every single one of these big giants is either holding or continuing to buy. And if they did sell, they're still holding a big chunk of their shares. They're still holding on to them, right? Companies sell off small parts of their positions, even if it's like 10, 20%, just to reposition, put their money somewhere else, maybe for hedging other things like that. It happens all the time. Maybe they will also maybe anticipate some downside for NEO, and they just hold a little bit, and they want to rebuy the dip later on. There's so many other reasons, but they had a large stake in NEO combined, the top five holders, and most of them are just continuing to bet on the company, buying more and holding. So I consider the bullish news. The biggest bullish piece of news was Abu Dhabi basically owning this investment firm that bought almost 125 million shares. That is huge stuff. They're not going to bet on a loser. 
I think Neo has so much potential for its expansion deliveries, not to mention the Neo phone, that can be coming out very soon. There's so much potential in this company and the large majority of these companies are still holding or continuing to buy more. Some of them did reduce their positions, but most of them are just continuing to buy so out of all of them. Basically, this shows us that three out of five are basically just buying more and all of them are just holding onto most of their shares. And just a couple of them sold a tiny position or like a little bit more. But for the most part, they're all holding on. And that's some more good news. Now, as far as Neo goes in terms of its data, I just want to mention that the short interest has been declining a little bit, which is a decent sign. There could be more short covering later on Neo is due for a bounce. It could drop a little bit more because of some bad news before it does try to bounce. Or it could try to bounce from here as it is forming a bullish divergence. But I will talk more about the overall market in NEO in my video for tomorrow. But I just want to make it clear the majority of the big dogs out there are still betting on NEO. They're still invested into it and they still believe in the company's future. All right, so thank you all so much for listening. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.